Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, especially for those who are new. By the way, I am Yana. And since I got here my Boxy Charm box, I'm gonna be doing my April 2019 unboxing. <laughs> So are you curious what BoxyCharm box is, what kind of subscription is this and how much? Then go check my description box because I'm going to be leaving all of the important information right there. I'm not going to be mentioning it right now because I'm a bit disappointed of BoxyCharm. I haven't received my March 2019 box and FYI they've deducted me first week of March and it's already April and I haven't received my box yet so I'm kind of bitter because I really want my box because it's already paid and yeah even though I am a small retriever still it is advert advertising them but I'm not getting a good service so what the heck so let's just proceed the box that I have one right here is once you open it it says P P peace love and boxy because it's Coachella month so that's why their theme is like this full of festivity and I'm not really into it. So the first one that we've got right here is this 12 pieces press pigment palette by Pure Cosmetic. And this is how these shades looks like. Let me get rid of this cover right here. So you get neutral shades, that's your transition shade. You get colorful shade, but probably two shades. And you've got um, chunks of pressed glitter pigments right there. Also, they included a primer eye primer just in case you feel like playing with those pressed glitters so we've got primer right here I guess this primer is good for like five usage or four usage that's it and yeah that retails for $36 now we'll proceed to the next item this is by the brand Luxie so and it is brushes and it was placed on this um, ziplock narrow bag right here I pulled it out for you so it's fast <laughs> so the first one we've got right here is this um is this Luxie 502 small contouring this one wait this one right here and I'm seeing myself using this not for contouring but to apply my blush on as well as put powder all over my face because it's just the right size now we'll proceed to the next one um we've got this Luxie two four five small shader brush this is perfect to pack your um press glitters on your crease this one right here because it's a flat brush and then we've got this luxie 209 large shader brush i'm not seeing myself reaching for this when it comes to applying my eyeshadow but possible blending the harsh pigments then yes and also uh, contour my nose using this brush is a big yes yes so this one right here so these three brushes retails for $28 so that's it now we'll proceed to the next product we've got since the day I started um, visiting Zephora. I've been eyeing on this brand right here and this is by the brand Artist Couture. This one right here is a Diamond Glow Powder. It's a highlighter. So it's a powder highlighter. I'm not gonna be swatching it for you but I'll show to you how the packaging looks like and it's the color there is like yellow but once you apply it, it is a purple. Pur the shade is Purple Dream so once you apply it, it will look purple ones sun hit on that highlighter which is not I'm not a big fan of colorful highlighter and also powdered highlighter and that one there retails for $27 and I'm glad that I received an artist couture product but a powder highlighter is I am 50-50 have I mentioned the price that retails for $27? Now we'll proceed to the second to the last item. So the second to the last item is we've got this mascara right here. This is by the brand Butter London. It says Power Up Mascara and this is in a shade Power Black. So yes, I don't know what to say yet. I like it because it's big but I'm not sure about the applicator. So I still have to use, uh, I will still have I will take time to use this and probably say what I what's my comment about this one right here, whether I like it or not. But that retail, it's kind of pricey. It's twenty dollars. And then the last one is this, Bodyography brand right here. This and this by 
Bodyography brand. This is in the shade Bali Bronze. This is an eye pencil crayon, which is okay. The last time I've got, I received a Bodyography brand on a previous month, previous box box, I forgot which month, but I received one. It was a lip liner, which I really don't like because it was so dry and hard, and I don't like it. But this one, since it's for the eyes, it's. The quality, I think it's still the same as the previous one, but it's more acceptable. I don't know, the quality is more acceptable for an eyeliner than a lip pencil because it's a bit dry and hard. So this one is fine, it's gold, but I'm not that happy receiving this one right here. But this retails for $14. So those are the things that I received in this April 2019 Boxy Charm box. So the total value of the box is 125 but if you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna rate this box as um, probably 40 over 100 points because the fact that I love receiving palettes and brushes, it's just I have comments on this one right here that like negative comments like the packaging it's just super minor the packaging and the shade doesn't excite me that much because i already have these things in my collection like the shimmers wait like the shimmers the transition shade and also the purple and that beautiful maroon is that pink purple i don't know those things and when it comes to glitters i already have a lot of glitters in my collection so i always have a negative comment this one right here i love receiving don't get me wrong i love receiving palettes and brushes i also love these kind of brushes right here but i don't like the color of the handles that's it it's super minor but that will always give an impact i like the previous shade uh, i like the previous Luxie brush they've sent the color of the handle that was pink. It was baby pink. It was really cute I like it and this one right here. I'm So glad that I received this one Because I am seeing myself reaching for this and uh, But not this bodyography Eyeliner pencil gold. It will be nice if it's white white then I'm seeing myself reaching for that but gold I don't know and I don't know how to use this and I rarely reach for a gold or colorful eyeliner so yeah and this artist couture I like the brand but when it comes to a powder highlighter like I've said earlier I am not into it and plus it says purple dream so once the light strike onto the highlighter it will look purple which is it's really good for festivals but day-to-day -day use no still i'm gonna add this in my collection so yes it's 40 over 100 so i really wish that i will receive my march box soon as possible before this april april month and and thanks for watching it would be nice if i had a try on too because i know that is very substantial you will see how the products perform but for the meantime i am not really happy um with the service of boxy charms so i'm just gonna do a unboxing so yes thanks for watching guys don't forget to click the like button and if you're not subscribed then please do subscribe see you on my next post guys and i love you bye